Hello YouTube, I am up the shed and I'm just going to do a test on um, the solar panels to see if they work um, independently on separate inverters. So that's my big 1000 watt inverter and uh, at its peak with 480 watts of solar panels we only really get around about 250 watts. So I'm just waiting for the sun to come around a bit further till we hit the peak and then what I'm going to do is uh, use uh, a test rig that I'm putting together. I've got two on here already two 360 watt grid time inverters. Uh, I'm going to put the big one in the middle um, 2.5 links um, which I'm going to connect directly to the um, three sets of panels um, three three pairs of panels so we're going to have the two square 80 watt panels on one the two rectangular silver panels on the other and in the middle we're going to have say the, the two black uh, rectangular 80 watt panels and then um, obviously I'm going to run out the, the power cores on each and uh, we're going to uh, test them all together to see if we get more than um, 250 watts peak power and then we're going to test them separately um, obviously I've only got one meter which is plugged in there and what we're going to do is going to go up on the roof in the sun because it's nice and sunny today and, um, and see if we can get some, some readings also Whilst I've got this all dismantled, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the peak power that we got from the amorphous solar panels over there and what I'm going to do is uh, take the inverter closer and eliminate the cable length, length of run which the DC power has to travel and see if we can get a higher um, wattage out of them just to, just to prove to myself and others you know, the difference it can make so obviously the, the 2.5 links here won't make much too much of a difference because it's only a short run, short amount of uh, run. A, a small cable is going to cause you less resistance, and it's only going to be for a short amount of time, so it's not going to cause too much of a problem with the results. So anyway, I'm just going to wait for this to, to come around a bit further, and then we're going to go up on the roof. I'm going to take that inverter down, mount it on the board, um, and we'll we'll test it out. Anyway, see you shortly. Right, just whilst I wait for the um, good tie to, um, obviously, we just had got a bit of cloud now. Whilst we wait for the sun to come back out, we're, at, so we're our peak is around 200 watts. So for any, because I'm taking this out, it's going to lose all the data. So for a later video, um, this is the 7th of June, and we've produced 11.78 kilowatts. So this will be used in a later video, as well as this video for um, proving that I've produced this amount of power. So I'm just going to unplug this, um, which means actually I'm just going to turn this off up here. So we're not producing, no power is going through the grid tie. Zero watts, kilowatts are the same, so I'm going to unplug it. go through here. I have an extension lead over here which is plugged in and turned on. This runs out to the Morpheus panels and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this back in when the sun comes in, comes out and um, see how much power we're producing. I've got it plugged in and working at the moment and well, can you just about see the lights? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this Plug in the watt meter, plug in the extension strip I've got here, so I'll put more than one in, and so at 17 watts, just wait for the sun to come back out. And I'll be back when the sun comes out. Right, so we are in the, 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 the peak part of the day um, and uh, to be honest the amorphous panels don't seem to be producing much more when they're in, in the direct sunlight. Um, I can't really do anything else down here at the moment apart from um, connect, uh, we're going to unplug this inverter, this will drop to zero. I have this other inverter set up here and I have, I should have a cable here, stick a cable somewhere. 
Now I can plug straight into there. And um, the other panel, which is just going to button that up tight, is producing 19 and a half watts. It is it's shaded a little bit. Let's watch it pick back up. I had this panel producing 33 watts earlier. Just going to point this more towards the sun. Producing around 30 watts. Let's try it, try it again. Thirty watts. So this is a 40 watt panel. And um well it does almost what it says. So what I'm gonna do now is go on the roof. So I'm just gonna disconnect these cables and uh we we'll go and check out the um, main panels on the roof. <laughs> Back shortly. Right, so I'm just making right. So I'm just making the final preparations to this board. Um, Going to mount this on here temporarily. This falling off is quite a lump. Pass that out of the way. Uh, turn on a screwdriver. I'm just going to go in here. Positive. Negative. Nice and tight. On there. Um, left we can go on there. And um, I've broken the earth pin off. Um, I've broken the earth pin off on this one, so it's uh, another one broken. <laughs> so this 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 one is uh, is uh, damaged and and. Got to be binned, and this one is, uh, needs a new plug, so uh, not doing too well at the moment. Anyway, so I'm going to go up on the roof um, uh, once I've got my other kettle lead, and we're going to um, do some testing. So um, I'm going to see you on the roof. Anyway, right. Well, I am on top of the roof now, and uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six panels. Um, the first set of um, here in in parallel the second set over here in parallel and the third set down here in parallel so what we're going to be doing at the moment is um, um, testing out each set now I've got one in the set one, one grid time inverter for each set of panels and the first thing I'm going to do is measure the temperature of the panels just to have a get an idea 
So the 51 degrees Celsius uh, for you in America, 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the white ones are slightly cooler, only by about five, five to eight degrees. Anyway, so that that is that. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, connect my whole set of panels, all all six panels, into the 1,000 watt grid tie, um, and see if we get more power generated. From, from that one on its own. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got to disconnect the, the positive and negative going out on this 10mm and connect a, a set of leads in so that I can connect it to this and then we'll see what we get. Now this is only 2.5 um, I wouldn't recommend doing this for any length of time 2.5 uh, shouldn't really be used for this sort of application but uh, I'm just doing it temporary just to get a feeling for whether it's worth it or not um, and also these are live DC connections although they're only 12 volt so only be around 22 volts open circuit but I wouldn't advise doing this for anything greater than 12 volt just in case so I'm just going to connect that up and I'll be back with you shortly right we have our mains power plugged in to the watt meter going through the kettle leads into the uh, good time inverter going out on the DC side we have uh, the 2.5s and the 4mm solar cables um, tech connector there and then into where the uh, DC side came from so I'm just gonna um, put that there so we can see All right, 0 watts I'm gonna turn this on we should get some life got a red LED and now we're flushing away I'm gonna give it a little while to warm up and then we'll see what appears on the meter now the sun, is, <laughs> the sun has only gone and gone in. All right, so for now we've only got 105 watts because if you can see the sun is behind a cloud. So anyway, that is that is that for now. <laughs> I'll be back when the sun comes out and we'll see what we get. I don't believe it. Look, as soon as I connected it all up the clouds, the clouds rolling and there's no sun. I don't believe it. <sighs> right, so the sun is back and I'm back on the roof and it doesn't seem that we can get past the peak with the uh, grid tie inverter being this close to the panel. So I know it's not the cabling. So I'm gonna split them down and do uh, one set of uh, panels at a time so I'm just gonna rig this up and we'll do some more testing right I think I may have found my problem um, in one of my um, connections because I've disconnected this which is one set of panels there we go completely disconnected we're still putting out 240 volts 240 watts so I think one of my sets of panels is not actually putting any power in um, now I haven't got my multimeter up here, but I'm pretty sure if I trace this back, um, I'm not going to have any power. So I'm just going to go find a multimeter and and go from there. Because if I disconnect uh, this one here, we drop to 100 watts. Uh, and if I touch this back up here, um, it goes back up to 247. And I disconnect it, and it goes back. But if I connect this one up, there's nothing. So um, let's um, take that up and see what we get. Right now upon further investigation um, I've taken this one out and I have it down here and um, it does appear that it wasn't actually pushed in far enough because there's a very large solder joint on there. So if I... oh it's, oh, it's just glue. So uh, we're at 230 it's not quite peak but it's close enough. If I touch this against here uh, like that we jump up to 335 which means we are getting a drop on that side so if I oh, 340 that's a new world record for me so if I just drop it down 224 so I'm quite happy that I've actually found the um, problem so um, there's no need to test the, the panels individually anymore I just had it on the on the large one if, if, if it came to it, I would have uh, disconnected each set and, and worked it out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop this back in, 
connect it up, put the lid on, and um, uh, we, we should be away. So uh, I'm just going to button this up, and I'll see you when I've done it. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm happy now. Right, so uh, I'm happy now. I'm happy I've found the problem. There was a problem with one of my things. Uh, luckily it wasn't a, a Duff solar panel. Um, it's not that sunny out here anymore, but we're still producing 300 watts, um, which is good. I'll just stick you through the gap there. And um, you can see the sky is blue, but there is cloud over the sun. Uh, the sun is over there now. But um, yeah, so this, this board is uh, redundant now. I'm going to put this one back up later on. Uh, but I'm well chuffed that we're now producing over 300 watts as um, obviously this is not a peak this is um, this is just past midday sun so I'm gonna go down and uh, um, come back up later and and see how much uh, we're producing maybe when the sun comes out a little bit more but anyway uh, I'll see you uh, later right PS right this is a little PS on the end um, right now it's five o'clock. We've been going uh, a few hours um, with some sunny interval intervals and bits in between. We're doing 140 watts at five o'clock. We generated 0.93 kilowatts, and I'm quite happy with that. That's a kilowatt against our electricity bill at the end of the day. And um, I've just got to dismantle this lot and take it down, tidy up, and put it back up where it was. So yeah, see you later.